G'day YouTube and welcome to another video from Alex Does DIY and direct from the uh, new garage which is just as messy as the old garage. Uh, for today's task I wanted to do a bit of a tip or trick video for putting lugs like this, battery terminal lugs onto the end of cable. Uh, this cable is quite wide it's a 95 millimeter square cable because I'm upgrading the solar inverter cabling in my motorhome uh, going from a 70 millimeter square cable up to this 95 millimeter square cable because it, the uh, original 70 millimeter square cable was overheating when the air conditioner was on so this is a fairly common problem you may have come across before you want to put one of these lugs on the end you may be fortunate enough unlike this one to get one with a flared end on the end here of this lug this is a crimp on lug you could also solder it on um, I prefer to crimp them because they do get quite hot and I don't want to risk the solder melting so you strip your cable back as far as you think you need to and you'll notice instantly what happens if you've done this you will probably be familiar with this situation instantly all this wire flares out like that and as you can see it's now much much wider than the hole and there is no way you are going to get a nice neat way of putting that on there you can try as much as you like to try and squeeze that in with your fingers try and get that on there you're going to end up with a mess so anyway, I thought I'd do a quick video on how I do this. I haven't done any research on uh, YouTube myself or anything to see how other people tackle this problem. This is just a way that I came up with doing it myself. The end result is that you'll get a nice, neat, strong, crimped cable connection. So the first thing you want to do is mark your cable. So the first thing you want to do is mark your cable for the length that you want it. This is how long I need mine now. This is just a short length that goes from my fuse to the positive terminal on my battery. To cut the cable, you can buy some fancy cable cutters that will cut this length of cable and do a nice neat job. I don't have those. If you've got those, you probably already know a better way of putting these lugs on anyway. Um, but if you don't have one of those, I generally find an angle grinder is the easiest. Choose a nice thin blade to do a neater job as possible. So we, there we go, that's a fairly nice, neat cut. The next thing you're going to want to do is grab your lug to gauge how far back you're going to need to strip this wire. And just make a mark around the wire with a sharpie. like so. So the next thing you want to do is grab yourself a blade and we're going to take off this outer insulation up to that line and you'll see with this particular cable which is important for using this particular technique 
is that it has an outer orange insulation and an inner white insulation so it's a double insulated single core cable. And what we want to do if your cable is just single insulation you might you'd stip, skip this step and move on to the next step. What we want to do is cut through just the orange outer insulation with our knife being careful not to cut through the, the second layer and obviously being careful not to cut through to the copper. There we go. Next step you want to grab yourself a cable tie. I like to use a nice strong cable tie, nothing too thin. You want to hold a bit of strength on this, um, but certainly not too wide that it takes up this entire area here. Grab yourself a marker, sharpie, and you want to mark a width just slightly wider than the cable tie itself on that inner insulation. Now if you don't have double insulated cable, this is the step you want to jump straight to, just marking that alone. Next you want to grab your knife again, your blade, cut through that insulation along that line, again being as careful as you can not to cut through so far that you start cutting into the copper wire. Now as with before, where I pointed out, even in this case, you'll see straight away that that starts to flare out. You're not going to get a nice, neat insertion of those wires into that lug. You can already see there just how much wider it flares out than that hole. The next thing I like to use is some sort of lubricant. I'm using this uh, WD-40 silicon spray. Not sponsored, but of course WD-40, if you want to jump on board, feel free. Hook me up. Uh, so I like this silicone spray, it seems to work well. Just give those wires just a light spray with a silicone spray, or your lubricant of choice. Next, take your cable tie, zip tie, prepare it in a circle, and then we're going to go over just the wire itself. Bring the cable tie in. And tighten that up as best we can. And you'll see that will have the effect of gathering together now all those copper wires into a nice tight bunch. Once that's done, and take our knife and now cut off the remaining inner insulation or if you've just got single insulated cable cutting it back to the length that you require for your lug. Again being careful not to cut into the copper itself sometimes it's just unavoidable things happen you might pick up one or two K strands and that's fine there we go so you'll end up with something that looks like that 
Next I like to give it another little bit of a touch up down further with the silicon spray or your lubricant. Now what we want to do is try and get these bundled up cables into the end of our lug. Now try and get your cable tie right to the end as best, as close as possible. Now you're not going to get all, you may miss a few but that's okay. And then just push and slide on. Because of the lubricant, it's going to push the cable tie all the way down to the end. I've missed a couple of strands there, that's fine. Once that lug's gone all the way down to the end as far as it can go, grab your knife and cut the cable tie. Or use a pair of cutters if that's easier. I think I might use. and continue to push your lug all the way onto the end. So I've only missed maybe half a dozen little wires there. That's fine. And you'll see the wires now have gone all the way up to the end of that lug. No fuss. You can then crimp your cable with your crimpers or solder them on if that's what you're planning on doing. What I like to do now to crimp these on is just secure it to the bench Got a vise, you might want to stick them in your vise. Grab your crimpers. Give them a couple of crimps. As I said before, if you don't have crimpers, you can solder them on. And there you go. That's good and solid. Get yourself some heat shrink. We're all done. You've got yourself a completely secure, completely professional looking, nice and easy, quick job to get that lug securely onto the end of your cable. And none of those issues with that, uh, those wires fraying out. So there you go. If you like this video, and I hope you did, please like, please subscribe, share it around to your friends, put it on Facebook, make it go viral, whatever it takes. Um, there we go. So that's another video from me. I'm Alex from Alex Does DIY and uh, I plan on having more videos coming out soon. Take it easy.